Come see the wonders of our God. How glorious are your ways in Moses' hand. That cleaves the frightened seas. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. Thank you. This is evening prayer for Thursday, September the 5th. It's the 15th week after Pentecost and week two in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 37, verse 19 to 50 or 35 and Mark chapter 15, verse 12 to 21. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever, amen. Alleluia, they shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. Alleluia. Psalm 37. Alleluia. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Most High, they shall be like the fat of lambs, consumed by fire, and vanished like the smoke. The wicked borrows and does not repay, but the righteous show mercy and give. For such as be blessed by God shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed by God shall be cut off. God guards the steps of the good and delights in their way. If they stumble, they shall not fall, for the Most High holds them by the hand. I have been young, and now I am old. And yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor their children begging for bread. They are ever merciful and lend, and their children are blessed. Depart from evil and do good, and live forevermore. For the Most High loves justice and forgets not the saints. They are preserved forever. But the children of the wicked shall be destroyed, the righteous shall inherit the land and dwell there forever. The mouths of the righteous speak wisdom and their tongues talk of justice. The law of their God is in their hearts. None of their steps shall slide. The wicked mat watches the righteous and seeks to slay them. The Most High will not leave them undefended nor let them be condemned when they are judged. Wait on the Most High and keep God's way. God will free you from the wicked, and you will inherit the land. When the wicked are destroyed, you shall see it. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 15, beginning at verse 12. Pilate spoke to them again, Then what do you wish me to do with the man you call the King of the Jews? And they shouted back at him, Crucify him. And Pilate asked them, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas, and after flogging Jesus, handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers led him into the courtyard of the palace, that is, the governor's headquarters, and they called together the whole cohort. They clothed him with a purple cloak, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on him. And they began saluting him, Hail, King of the Jews! They struck his head with a reed, 
spat upon him, and knelt down in homage to him. After mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him, and then they let him out to crucify him. They compelled a passerby who was coming in from the country to carry his cross, Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. And then they brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. Here ends the lesson. Let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your ministers be clothed with righteousness, and let all your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation, that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Guard our steps, dear God, and hold us up if we should stumble. Write your law in our hearts, that we may serve truth and justice, and live in peace forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.